Uh, don't forget tomorrow we're going to do uh, chapter two. Be sure to have read the entire chapter. Whatever. See you tomorrow. Hey, Cody. Hey, Scooter. Hi, Dad. Hey, Dad. Hey, Cody, shut the crawl gate so Cornelius doesn't get out, will you? Who the heck left it open in the first place? I was gonna do it. I was just waiting. Waiting for what, Cody? Waiting till he got out and wreak havoc with the herd? No, sir. Waiting for him to move. You invited him to move with your indecision. Go on, get in the house. Come on, Scooter. I'll take you for a ride in the sleigh. Face. Nothing. What did Daddy say to you? Nothing. Give me a Dorsey. Hey, Dorsey, what you doing? The end of the month, David. The end of the month? Who are you, the landlord? <laughs> no, but that's just who's going to be here in two weeks. Now, I said that I would give you to the end of the month to finally get serious about these bills. I'm not going to be the one who they come after. Well, listen to me, baby. Don't baby. Don't baby me. Well, you are my baby. You can't take care of yourself. And by the way, it is not the last of the month. What do you mean? What I mean is that 30 days hath September, April, June, and November. Oh. All the rest have 31, except Oh, great, for February. great. So by tomorrow midnight, our financial problem's going to be over, huh? You finally gonna start to discipline that great mind of yours? <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna try to kid you. Nothing changes overnight. But I swear to you one thing, starting tomorrow, it's the beginning of the big one. <laughs> the big one? Yeah. You remember? The biggie? Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, hell yes, tomorrow. Where do you think I've been for the last two days? Why do you think I wrote that letter, huh? The big letter? Why do you think Freddie and Lyle are flying in? Freddie and Lyle are coming. Tomorrow morning. You don't believe me? You want to call him? Come on, come on, call him. Come on. Huh? Did I ever tell you it was going to be the biggie when it wasn't? No. No. Did I ever tell you that there is something so beautiful about you when your mind is made up? That isn't going to work. No? There's something so strong about you. Next to me, you are the strongest person that I know. And that's why I need you, Dorsey. You think I ever would have planned the big one if I didn't think you were going to be a part of it? Hmm? <laughs> Dorsey, you and I are like two poles on a battery. Standing alone or nothing. Nothing but a couple of stumps sticking up in the air. But when we connect, uh. we create a power. A force that's bigger than either one of us. You feel the heat that we create, huh? You feel that? That's power, baby. That's life. That's us. Now, I'll tell you something. If by tomorrow night, you don't believe that we're on our way to a better life, 
You can walk. In fact, I'll give you the keys and you can drive. <laughs> well, the plan's in motion, baby. And nothing's gonna stop it. And if you leave now, you will always and forever say to yourself, I could have been there too. I need you, baby. Mm -hmm. I really, really, really need you, baby. It's the council's job to provide equipment. Yeah, but you know the PTA loves their bake sales and that chocolate drive. You're not going to mind if the council gives us a couple of computers. <laughs> Somebody say something funny? Come on, Jake, share the joke. Well, I was just wondering if anyone from LA Unified heard you worrying about who we're going to allow to give us $6,000 worth of computers while they're worrying about how to pay for metal detectors. That's why you came home, Jay. No, nah, he came back from L.A. because there's uh, no hunting there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I came back because I didn't appreciate being the prey. Yeah. Okay, Melanie, let's go. Where's Dorsey? Gone. Gone where? Gone to Salt Lake. She's going to pick up Uncle Freddie and Uncle Lyle in the morning at the airport. They're not my uncles. No, they're my boys. I put out the call, they come running. Daddy, I thought we were going to Yellowstone. We are. Just going to mix in a little business. Commerce never sleeps, child. Hey, what's all this? Just a bunch of junk. Daddy, is everything OK with you? I have never been better. Yeah, no sweat, Cal. We'll cover for you. Kathy! I'll catch you later, Cal. Over and out. What the hell is this? I told you about it two weeks ago, Sheriff. I thought I'd talk some sense into you. Well, I listen, but I just don't see the sense in it. There's more money, more responsibility, and here, I'm just a glorified secretary. You're a sheriff's dispatcher is what you are. That other thing's just a big fancy title is all. What the, what the hell am I supposed to do tomorrow? You can't just leave. Well, I'm not missing my first meeting. You're just gonna have to find someone. I'm wondering what you were waiting on. You can get any number of people. Answering calls and getting you a Danish does not take extraordinary skill. Well, let's just turn this thing around a moment, shall we? What makes you think a young lady like yourself is qualified to be an emergency management coordinator anyways? Because I took the courses, Deb. Exactly. Question stands. <sighs> I love you for bringing us here. I'm not gonna go stir crazy. Jake, it's exactly what I wanted. A place where my children will be able to walk the streets any time of day or night and feel safe. Yeah, but there's no mall and there's only one grocery store in there. <laughs> hey! Ah! What the? Oh, Cal. Jake, what the hell? What are you oh, doing? I'm sorry. Big city reflex. Oh. Uh, it's my fault, I guess. I should have recognized the car. I thought you was kids is all. This take a cake. Laura's just tell me how safe she feels here. And sure enough, here's the town's only police officer spending his night protecting the young maidens of Cokeville. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Jake. Laura? You all right? Fine, Cal, except you're about eight months late. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Good night. You take it easy. Well, Tracy and Cody are all tucked in. Tom, what did you and Cody have some words about today? Yeah, nothing. <laughs> Lord, like father, like son. No, not like father, like son. At 12 years old, I was not scared to go up to Corral and close the gate on an old bull like my father told me. In fact, I'd have been scared not to for fear of getting a licking. So this is about courage and sissies again? I guess. Why can't you just let Cody be who he is? I didn't say a word. I just closed the gate. Mm -hmm.
Stop staring at me that way. Listen to me, Melanie. There's going to be a brave new world starting today. And this is the way you can be a part of it. The only way. Don't touch me! hours it's going to be dawn the big day piggy day for me and dorsey and for you too and we all got to be one spinning on a horizontal axis. What goes around, comes around. What you give now, you get back many times over, but you gotta learn to give, baby. I wanna go home. We'll talk about it tomorrow. No, now! Don't talk back to your father! You go on back to bed, I'm not gonna touch you. God help you if you say anything to Dorsey. Diabetes pops? Insulin. Yum, yum. We're watching it. Oh. Order up. There you go. Come on, Dorsey. What's up? All I can tell you is it's going down. The biggie? After all these years? I don't believe it. <laughs> what do you think he got you here for, huh? Hit us up for more money, I figured. <laughs> if you don't believe in him... Of course I believe in him. Yeah, well, you better believe. All the roads you traveled together. David is the smartest man I ever met. I do believe he's gonna get us all very rich. So what do you think it is this time? He's got a bomb. A bomb? He's in the bathroom half the night building it. Anything that needs a bomb. You just listened to me. Didn't, didn't you just say it yourself that you believe in him, huh? That he's a genius? Yeah, well, well, of course he is. I didn't think we flew out here. And whatever it is he's got planned, you know it's gonna work. And you know it's gonna make you very rich. Are you sure it's a bomb? 
book. This is my bear. Her name's Ursula. That's a very interesting name. Now, why did you call her that? Because my brother says it means bear. That's absolutely right. Tracy, very good. Thank you for sharing Ursula with us. Mikey, who did you bring? My bug. Okay, Lyle. Lyle, I want you to get on the other side of Dorsey, all right? Boy, girl, boy, girl, come on. Hey, this is a historic occasion, all right? This is Biggie Day. We've got to capture this for posterity. Hang on. You ready? All right. Okay, smile, everybody. That picture is going to run in every newspaper from the New York Times on down. Architects of the brave new world. Brave new world. Yep. Uh, David, uh, don't you think it's about time you told us what this plan is? Get my letter? Yeah, we got it. You read it? Read it. Zero equals infinity. What does that mean? <laughs> Tell them, honey. It means nobody knows anything. It's like there's no reality. That's my girl. I'm not as smart as you, David. I know that. So if you could, if you could explain what that means. Well, I can see that there's no point in my discussing anything of a spiritual, of a metaphysical, of a higher plane with you two. So maybe you'll understand this. What do you see in the van? Uh, well, there, there's guns and a whole lot of ammo. And some kind of bomb. Uh-huh, very good. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to take these items down the hill, and we are going to do the biggie. Which is? Which is? To take over the Cokeville Public Elementary School. Every single teacher, every single kid, every one of them. That's it? That's the biggie? David, I don't know. Will you shut up? What's the matter with you people? I spent months developing this, picking this town. It has got one cop. It has got a school which has among the best and brightest kids in the world. I have learned that their parents will do anything, anything for them. I have designed and built a foolproof detonating device, and you pygmies can't appreciate it. Do you know where this letter is going? This letter, which you cannot understand? To the President of the United States. That's right. So that he will know what kind of a mind he is dealing with, and he will know because he is the President of the United States. And you two don't have the vision to see the path before you, which leads where no man has gone before. No way. Look, I'm sorry, David, but I'm out. Me too. I, I ain't taking over no school. Melanie? <laughs> well... Can't force anybody. Whoa, 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 take it easy now. Okay, Dorsey, there's handcuffs in the van. Go get them, baby. Don't do it. You do it, baby, or I'm gonna shoot her and them. All of them. Come on, yeah. baby, come on. Come on, this is the biggie. This is our shot, you and me, everything we always wanted. Come on, baby, but I can't do it without you. You just do what I tell you, and nobody's gonna get hurt, all right? Dorsey, Dorsey. They don't understand me, they never have, but you and me, we are one, baby. The future king and queen of the brave new world. But I can't do it without you, baby. I really need your help. Now, come on. Come on. Nobody's going to get hurt if you just do it, I tell you. Nobody's going to get hurt. I promise. Come on. Hey, fellas, you just stay right there. You too. I'm going to lunch. Oh, don't forget, you've got that interview with that kindergarten teacher at 1.30. I'll be here. Oh, God. No use. I'll never get used to that thing. Does it have to ring in here? No. Reprogram it. 
Reprogram it, that's it. I've been living with this shock treatment for three months. All right. Just concentrate. It shouldn't be that difficult. We're all intelligent, adult human beings. Call a sixth grader. <laughs> Jake Downey can do it. He's the computer whiz around here. We'll call Jake Downey. David, we've all been together a long time. You have got to listen. There is no way you can pull this off. You must know that. You're too smart. Uh, elementary school. Uh, they may pay off, but and, and you might get away, but they're never going to leave you alone. What makes you think that I'm going someplace where anybody can find me? There's no place. I'm not talking about Brazil. You didn't read my letter, did you? or any of the stuff that I sent you. That's why I need the children. They haven't been brainwashed yet. They're pure. I can save them. Dorsey? Melanie! Melanie, don't you dare. We have to. Just listen to him. We can't. I don't understand, honey. You do as he says, and nothing's gonna happen, right? He's not, he's not gonna hurt anyone. Dorsey, what do you think's gonna happen if he goes into that school with a bomb? You heard him. He's got it all planned. Dorsey! Melanie, listen to yourself. You're deserting him just when he needs you the most. Your own daddy. I'm gonna tell you something, girl. I tried to leave him many times, but I can't. Right? So you get to be as old as I am. Maybe you're going to understand. You just got to believe in somebody. I have something to tell you. There's nothing more to say. He's not what you think he is. I don't want to hear this. Last night in the motel. I said I don't want to hear it. All right, it's one o'clock. The lunch will be over in 15 minutes. Biggie time. Dorsey, come on back here and help me out. Okay. Now don't move. Anybody. Thank you. 
Thank you, baby. Get back here, Melanie. Melanie, get back here. Unless you want this thing to go off right now. All right, daughter, now let's get this out of the van. Come on, help me out. Real careful. Daddy, please don't do this. Just help me get the rest of the stuff out. No, I told you, I'm not going in there. You've got to understand one thing. This has already started, and nobody can stop it. Not even me. Come on, man, now you just do what he says, okay? skirmish. I'll be right back. Can I help you? Yeah, where's the principal's office? Just down the hall here, first door on your right. Thank you very much. Melanie, stay here. Oh, hi. Hi. You're here about the kindergarten job? Yes, I am. I'm a little bit early, though. Well, that's all right. I just got back from lunch. Uh, just give me a second, will you? Sure. Can I help you? Are you the principal? Yes, I am. Matt Eckhart? That's right. Now, what is this? Uh... Matt, this school is being taken hostage. Don't push any buttons. Don't step on any alarms. Don't answer any telephones. Just do as you're told. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm I... serious now. We got guns. Matt, this is a bond. This bomb is powerful enough to destroy this entire building. Do you understand? Now, just wait a minute. You see this little half clothes pin, which is attached to my wrist? This is the only thing that is keeping this bomb from going off. And that means that if anybody attacks me, or shoots me, or trips me, or even scares me so much that my arm moves a little bit too much, it will go off, and everyone in this building will be killed. Miss. Yes? Get on the other side of the counter. I'll just wait over here. On the other side of the counter now. You Thank know, you. David, we uh, we could do it here. We'd be close to the phones. Oh, we need the kids. Terry not back with the mail yet? Not yet. Jake? I'll get it. Hey, later. Jake! Come on back here. Yeah. I got a bomb, too. What? Jake Downey. Don't you know me, Jake? Uh, no, I don't know well, you. Well, sure you do. David Young, remember? I rented a house from you nine years ago. <coughs> I was the police chief. David Young, the cop. The one they fired. They didn't fire me, Jake. I quit. You still single? No. No kidding. Well, work with me, Jake. You just might get to see your wife again. Come on, let's go find a classroom. Move! Excuse us, would you, uh... Join our group, please. This is a bomb, and it's real. Let's go. What's in there? First grade. It's big. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, bring the guns. Don't be a bad girl. Listen to Papa. I told you, but you don't listen. I am not going in there. I am not doing this. I am not doing this. It is a sad day indeed when a man's own daughter can't share her father's vision. <laughs> Get out of here. 
You're no good to me anyway. Go on! Get out of here! Popular Mr. Downey, to what do we owe the pleasure? What's going on? Miss Michaels. Miss Michaels, this is a bomb. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. No, I am not kidding. So why don't you just sit down and shut up? <laughs> Get the rest, Dorsey. Hey, I think we got it. You think, Dorsey? You are not supposed to think. The plan says get everybody. Get everybody. Look, how about telling us what this is all about? How about shutting up? When everybody is here, I will tell you. I do not like repeating myself. Where are you going? Well, may I? <laughs> Go ahead. I need a cop. Oh, I'm sorry. He's up in Kimmerer right now getting his car fixed. Oh, God. Uh, maybe if you could tell me the nature of your emergency. My father's holding his school hostage with a bomb. I beg your pardon? Your huh? school over there, the elementary school. Do something easy. He's got guns, he's got assault rifles, he's got a bomb. Wait here. Don't you go away. Mrs. Michaels would like to see everyone in room four. What for? Well, I don't know. She just said it was a big surprise. Oh. Well, class, I, I know you'll be disappointed, but I guess long division will have to wait. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Right. Nadine, I'm not a policewoman. I don't know what to do. You're the sheriff's dispatcher, aren't you? No, I'm the new county emergency management coordinator. Well, if that girl's not wrong, honey, you're in business in a big way. Would you like a, a, a tissue or a drink of water? No, I don't want a tissue, damn it. Now, miss, there's no need to use that kind of talk. Either. What the hell kind of talk do you want me to say to get you idiots oh, no. to stop my oh, father no. before he kills your children, huh? Okay, ma'am, all right. Just slow down and take a breath, please. What is your name? Melanie. Melanie. All right, Melanie. Now, can you tell me as calmly as possible what the problem is? Everybody, find a place in the back of the room. No, hey, hey, no guns, no guns. You leave your guns by the door. Make a pile by the door. Thank you very much. Find a place in the back of the room. To me, that's right. That's a good boy. That's right. Get his gun. Now, do you believe me? Nadine, let's get Sheriff Wolfley here. He's at Dr. Wilcox's. I'll get Kale back here, too. Where are they? Camera, 50 miles away. Nadine, how many phone lines are in there? Uh, four. Jim, guys, let's split it up. I think we need the state trooper. And the FBI, they're in Casper. No, as soon as he sees any of those people, he'll blow it up, I swear it. You gotta keep people away. We need them. Tell them not to go near the school. No sirens. Does anybody else have any other ideas? A roadblock. Well, let's go, let's go. Hey, 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 what about us? Okay, kids, recess is over. Ma'am? Ma'am? Ma'am, don't go into school! Hi, dear. Ma'am, no, no! Please don't go in! 
Okay, everybody, settle down now. Settle down, be quiet, be quiet. I got something I gotta say. Now, you all want to know what's going on. Well, here it is. This is a bomb, and you are all my hostages. Right? Now, you adults, I want you to know right now, I could care less about you. I just didn't kill you, just look at you. But you kids, I am your friend. Now, you don't believe that yet, but you will. I was a kid, too, once. And I know what it's like. The teachers. Snarling at you. Telling you what to do. Just pinching on the back of your neck, pulling you up by your ears, shaking your arms, slapping your face. Sit down. Be quiet. Sit in the closet. Get up. Shut up. Button up. Hands up. Throw up. Wake up. Look up. Straighten up. Line up. Time's up! going to have to worry about any of that anymore because we are going to take the most important journey of our lives together except if you try to escape I will have to shoot you I don't want to do it but I will now, I'll use a 22 and I'll try to hit you in the legs but it will hurt so you just sit quiet all right um, let me have the statements now Okay, now I want everybody, uh, grown-ups and kids, to read one of these. It will explain everything. Um, I just want you to know that I have already sent copies of this to the governor and the president of the United States. Pass them out. All right, now. Who wants to help me pass these out, huh? Huh? Who wants to be letter monitor? All right, now, listen up. Seemingly, some thousands of years ago, several individuals combined or perceived their combination and therein created man. It was and is a concept, neither right nor wrong, left, but a way among ways. For the better part of the interim, then, man played with man, making love, fire, food, mores, children, goods, gods, language, tools, wastes, combinations of diverse sorts in almost as many directions, purposes. Now, people come and people go, but always as no longer as individuals from which people had risen or succumbed. The answer to this concern regarding the nothingness of... Tom, there's some kind of lunatic in the school. It's on the radio. What? He's got guns and bombs. Oh, God, tell our baby. Go down there. You get my coat. Oh, I'm coming. You know, Jake, if anybody's going to do anything, it's you. For all the lessons of history. What do you want me to do, Jane? Christ, revolutions, insurance. 
We don't know what he wants yet. All we know is that he's inside the school and he's got guns and a bomb. We're in the school. I got a kid in there. We don't know yet. Don't you think it's time you found out? Man, we don't want to endanger the lives of the children until we have a better idea of what's going on. Meanwhile, they're all dead. I'll run you over. I don't even know who the hell you are. I'm... I'm the Lincoln County Emergency Management Coordinator, sir. What? What the hell is that? Where's Cal? Where's the sheriff? They're on route, as are the Highway Patrol and the FBI. I'm telling you, you get in the vicinity of that school, that man has threatened to blow it up. <laughs> sir, what's your name, please? Um, Howard. Howard, I'm gonna need your help. Can you stay with me, please? And ma'am? Marlene. Marlene, can you go get the fire department and tell them no sirens? Uh-huh. What's the truck? He's got a fever. He needs to see a doctor. No, he's not warm. He's not warm at all. You just wet a paper towel. You put it on his forehead, and he's gonna be fine, aren't you? Just fine. Look, why don't you call somebody? Make your demands. We've got a cellular phone. I am not talking to any authorities. Jake is my negotiator. Back off! Doris? They're crowding me. No problem, baby. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Move it back, girls. Don't want to make them nervous now, do we, huh? OK, I'll call them for you. What do you want me to tell them? You tell them I want $2 million for each kid. Come on. You got a problem? It's just that there's got to be 130 kids here. 134 kids! And if Jake is not back in uh, 10 minutes, Gonna be 133. <laughs> Would he do that? Would he shoot a child? No. He wouldn't do that. That's, that's just talk. Well, how can you be sure with someone like that? Davison. I'm Jake Downey. I'm a teacher at the school. We're being held hostage. I, I was told to call you. What took you so long? I gotta be back in that classroom in four minutes. Oh, well, you have to speak fast then. Okay, he's got a bomb. It looks real, it looks big, and it's got a, a, a dead man switch. What is that? I don't know what that is. That means if he gets shot or knocked out, the bomb's gonna go off anyway. You gotta keep everybody back, or we're gonna have a lot of dead kids here. I'm trying. Where in the school is he? Uh, room four. The south side of the building, uh, facing Pearl Street. He's got the whole school in there, 130 kids, a dozen adults. Uh, he's got a woman with him, calls her Dorsey. Okay. What does he want? You sitting down? Hardly, sir. He wants two million a kid. What? Exactly. What do I do? I'm sorry, excuse me? What the hell do I do? Um, um, just sit tight. Everyone's on their way. I just have to relay this to the proper authorities. Um, just... Just stay calm, Jake. Tell them? I told them. What'd they say? They said to call back after they contact the proper authorities. No cops. You tell them I said no cops. I told her. Good. Take a pew, Jake. Okay. 
there's that much money in the whole state of Wyoming. He must know that. What is he thinking? Who knows anymore? Melanie. I don't know. Well, do you have any ideas? Well, last night he started talking about some brave new world he was going to with Dorsey. How I ought to come along. What brave new world? What's he talking about? I'm not real sure. Well, what do you think it means? Well, ma'am, he believes in reincarnation. He might have meant reincarnation. Are you saying that he aims to get killed today? Damn. Maybe that's what he was talking about on the mountain. What did he say? Well, this morning when he cuffed us, we told him he'd never get away with us, that there was no place he could hide, and, and he said they'd never get him and that he wasn't talking about Brazil. Oh, God. It's the brave new world he's talking about. A place he can control where he thinks he's going to be king. But what did he mean about the kids not being brainwashed at all? And, and that they'd be kind to him and all? You guys is nuts. David is not going to kill himself. He said he was going to save those children. Oh, Lord. We could be talking about saving their souls. He could be talking about taking every one of them with him. Sheriff. I just got here, Tom. You probably know more than I do. You bring the money to this guy? He wants a truckload of money. Yeah, I heard about that. And? And I heard about it. We're handling this him. Doesn't look like it. Excuse me. Ed, I thought you were here. You seen Cal got... Fredrickson? No, he should be here about now. The FBI's due any minute. I've got Chuck Dietrich from ATF at Salt Lake on the radio. Says he can have 50 people here in three hours. Let me get the lay of the land first. Anything else from inside? No, sir. Just the one call. Sheriff? I think we could have a Jonestown situation here. You can tell that from one phone call? No, I've been talking with his daughter. He's got some crazy idea about reincarnating everybody into a brave new world. You plan on reincarnating the money, too? Saying. What was he like when you were his landlord? I hardly ever saw him. Paid his rent on time. He stiffed me for two months after they fired him. He just took off. When I went over, he trashed the place. Mr. Dowdy, my sister's getting pretty sick from the smell of gas. Can we open a window? I'll ask him. She's pretty scared, too. Yeah, we all are, Cody. Mr. Dowdy, we, we could take him. You could grab his arm and the rest Don't of us could Don't even keep think of it, Roy. Junk. Who's that kid? Just a kid. Yeah? I think he's thinking about doing something stupid. Look, everybody's getting sick from the gas fumes. Is it OK if we open a window? Come on, David. Come on. Oh, it's getting so hot in here. You know, we could open up a door, get a little cross ventilation. Be quiet. Last thing anybody needs is a room full of sick kids. No. Last thing anybody needs is a dead teacher. Except me. Maybe I need a dead teacher. Teach everybody a lesson. Huh? Come on, mountain man. That's what you are, isn't it? Mountain man. Let's see what you're made of. Come on. 
Forget about the gun. Let's just see if you can get to me before I can get to it. You blow everybody up. If you don't get to me first. exactly where they are. I already told the woman. I know. Calm down. You need to tell me. On the, on the Pearl Street side, the south side. Are the blinds up? Come on, mister. You take one shot and we're all dead, even if you get him. Where's the woman I was talking to? She's working on the money. You got to deal with me now. Well, of course I'm going to hold. I don't have a choice, do I? OK. And cool it when you get near. We don't want to make any announcements. What did he say, Dad? I told him I'm bringing the governor into this. I'm on hold now. Oh, did you tell him this is an emergency? Of course I did. I didn't say it was a social call. All right, all right. Well, after you get through, alert every hospital within 200 miles. Yes, sir. OK, good news. SWAT team's coming in from Jackson. SWAT team? I didn't authorize any SWAT team. Come on, Deb, let's not get into this. Kidnapping's a federal crime, you know that. I'll tell you what I know. I know the SWAT team's got all those expensive toys and all that expensive training. And I also know that when you're armed to the teeth, it's hard to be patient. Same old Deb, huh? But mostly what I know is this. Those are my people in there, my town, my county. And nobody, but nobody, goes anywhere near that school as I say so. Of course. Just a moment, Sheriff. Mind if we go over the van? Be my guest. Better make that every hospital within 400 miles. Governor, yeah. What kind of guns are those? Back off. I just want to know what kind of guns they are. Yes? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. See that shotgun right there? It's one of the finest over and unders in the whole world. And that one in the middle? Kalashnikov assault weapon. Yeah. Fully automatic? No. Not fully automatic. Semi automatic. Fully automatic is illegal. Jake, you did the right thing listening to him. Nobody expects you to. Sure they do. So do you, Matt. <coughs> oh, 
Now, this is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. And if we do anything else, we're looking for a lot of trouble. Now, the best thing we can do is wait for more assistance and more developments. Like what? Like until the first child gets shot? I got my two kids in there, Cal. I know. I'm telling you, they're all right. Oh, Cal, is Jake okay? He's not much for taking orders from people. Yeah, I know, Laura. As of yet, no one's been hurt. How do you know? How do you know he's okay? What, you don't know? We've been talking to Jake on the phone. <sighs> Leona's in there. She got the sniffles, but I bullied her mom into making her go anyway. So you got Cody and uh, what's the little one? Tracy. That's right. Cute little brunette. What the hell's going on in there? It's like a whole lot of nothing. Let's go down and see what's what. How long you been married? Nine years. Ever since David was police chief here. <laughs> oh, I never could resist a uniform. <laughs> Dorsey, uh, why are you doing this? Oh, well, you know men, they always think they can do this stuff by themselves, but... I have two girls. No, nobody has to do something like this. You made a choice. The others wouldn't help him. Not his friends. Not his own daughter. You should have seen the look on his face when she deserted him. You know, he, he doesn't think I saw him, but he needs me. Dorsey, you know, something real bad could happen here. No, it won't. Now, he is not going to hurt the children about them. That's why he has a bomb. I better go. Listen, y you can make sure that nothing happens. Y you wouldn't be hurting him. You'd be saving his life and a lot of others. How? Well, maybe you could get a hold of that shoelace thing. Dorsey! I don't know. I gotta go. At least I uh, convince him to let us open up the windows, because everybody's getting sick. Percy, get over here. Okay. He's got a bomb with a dead man switch. How do they know? Nobody's been in there. Oh, but they've been talking to someone. What can you see? Window. It's got to be the one. I can see kids. Oh, Larry. I don't know if this is such a good idea. No? Well, let me tell you something. He gives me a headshot. I got a nine grain hollow point. Okay, everybody. You want air? You got air. I'm not a hard man to get along with. Ask anybody. Hey, Scoot, come on, Scoot. Larry, what if they're right? Quiet. Somebody's heading for the window. Drugs? Insulin. Someone's diabetic. Bang! Bang! It's just a toy. See? I can see what it is. I can also see that you people have no idea of how to control your children. No idea in the world! Do you? You call yourselves teachers? Imparters of knowledge! You are nothing but keepers! Prison guards! Well, let me tell you something. 
in the brave new world, a child will never, ever point a gun at an adult. Never, 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 never. Diabetic, young, according to the daughter. He last took it this morning. When does he need it next? Soon. Well, if it's here, it ain't in there. Uh, maybe we're getting lucky. Maybe he gets sleepy, goes into a diabetic coma. It doesn't happen like that. Charlie, fact... call the lab, see what they can tell us. Deb, the fact is, is if he took it this morning and he hasn't had lunch, then the insulin's got nothing to work on except the sugar that's already in his system. He's going to get hypoglycemic. He's going to have low blood sugar. He's going to go into insulin shock. How do you know? I, because I have a friend who's diabetic. I know. He'll feel shaky, he'll start to sweat, he's gonna get hungry and thirsty, and he's, and he's... And he's what? And, and that, and that's it. ATF's here. Oh, hell, you were scared of us? He's gonna get sweaty, hungry, thirsty, and... He's gonna get real irritable. He's gonna be subject to wide mood swings, Deb. Thanks for keeping that to yourself. <sighs> Okay, kids, whoever doesn't want to play games, watch some videos, okay? I can't figure out if she's Ma Barker or Betty Crocker. She. Yeah, that's, uh, that's enough now. Want me to rub something else? I said that's enough now. Okay. I have to bite my head off. Wow, that's real good. Boy, I could, um, I could never stay in the lines like that when I was your age. When the bell rings, do we get to go home? Well, maybe not right then, but soon, you know, real soon. How soon? Look, I know some of you are a little afraid right now, but you ought to be thinking about this like one great big adventure, okay? I have some story to tell your grandkids. She's nice. goes off, we're going to be in trouble. What do you mean? Think about it. It's pandemonium. It's a reflex. You pick up your books and your lunch bucket and you go home. And if a hundred kids jumping up at the same time doesn't set him off, what about the kids? These younger ones, after three o'clock, when they see they're not going home into their moms and dads, they're going to panic. So what do we do? Make some kind of announcement? Well, that might take the surprise out of it, but that bell's still going to trigger a lot of emotions. I get out there, I get disconnected. That's good. I sure wouldn't know how. Hey, come here. Come here, I want to talk to you. Look at this. So? Could cut your hair off with one swipe. So what are you going to do? Give him a haircut? Cut the shoelace off his wrist. I need your help. Exactly two minutes before the bell goes off. You go up there, start asking him stuff about the guns. He likes talking about them. Between you and the bell going off, he'll be distracted. So Washburn, Kinney, and Powell can go up there and grab his arm and keep it still, and I'll cut the lace off. Really? What if it doesn't work? It'll work. You can't just wait around here for this guy to blow up. Song, try and cheer her up. What do you think? I know one. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. 
If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout Here it goes. What? What do you want? You don't look so good, David. Uh, why don't you let me uh, get something for you, you know? Whatever you need. Uh, call somebody. Yeah, all right. Okay, yeah, let's make a phone call. Matt! Jake here is up to something. So I'm promoting you to phone monitor. I want you to make a call, find out what's going on with that money, and I want you to get me something to eat. Uh, what do you want? Something sweet. Juice or uh, candy bars, I don't care. I don't care what it is. Just be back in five minutes. Oh, I'll need more time than that. Five minutes. That's not... Five minutes, I'll start shooting kids! a little bit of food. No, you are not fine. You need your insulin. Now, why don't you tell what's-his-name to get some? Oh, sure. Why don't I have him bring it to me so they can put something in it? Why don't you just get away from me, you stupid bitch? Don't you realize that in the brave new world, I will no longer need insulin? In the brave new world, our bodies will not be ravaged by the common ailments of man. Children will no longer be puking, and I will no longer need a gun to rule. Center. Closer. All right, that's close enough. Now, somebody is planning something stupid in here. Somebody other than you. I, I don't think so. I don't care what you think. Look, uh, what if we protect you then? I'll, I'll protect you from these children. How? Well, we could, uh, you know, we could draw a circle, uh, tape a circle around you, and and no one can cross over it. Okay. You do that. Make it a wide one. Listen, I think he's sick. He's sweating like a stuck pig. He's diabetic. That doesn't make any sense. He asked for candy. I thought... Well, the... we don't have time to explain. You just have to make sure he gets something sweet, quick. Okay, okay, what about the money? We gotta make him some kind of offer. It's in the works. We've talked to the governor. Right now, the food's more important. Have you got some there? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you tell him no, we can send some in there to put him to sleep. There's no time for that. He's about to explode. I mean, literally. I gotta go.
see this line here? This uh, circle? Well, we're going to call it uh, a magic circle, and uh, they're the only ones allowed inside the circle. Everyone else has to stay outside. What happens if we don't? Then you're uh, out of the game. Cutting it rather close, aren't we, Mr. Principal, sir? Whatever you boys are planning, it's over. You understand me? Over. Mr. So no lunch, and he's under a lot of stress. What's he like when his sugar's low? Crazed. It's when he bangs us around. He's gonna be crazed, man. Isn't there somebody? I, I mean, with all this firepower, somebody's got to. God. I can't believe I'm suggesting somebody kill my father. First, the man is asking for 270 million. You can't get anybody to authorize one minute. It's not what works. Second, his own daughter says he's probably planning to blow everybody into this brave new world of his anyway. He keeps asking for 300 million, right? But never once has he asked for an escape vehicle. It's a rush here, boys. He's been in there, what, going on two hours? So far, everybody's alive. Dave, I've been talking to his daughter. She says he gets crazed when his blood sugar's low. I mean, I mean, really crazed. He just had a candy bar and some juice, didn't he? Yeah, it's just a stopgap. You can't regulate a diabetic with just candy and juice. He's had no lunch. He's under a ton of stress. He could just lose control of his blood sugar levels and... Well, what about getting some of your Mickey juice into his food, make him sleep? Yeah, okay, we'll helicopter it in from Salt Lake. Two hours. That's right. We can get some men in a rear door without being observed. The principal says the classroom door is open. In all probability, we can maintain an air of surprise. My guys are armed with S-20 longs. Come on, we can immobilize him where he stands. Oh, he'll freeze on his feet like a statue. Please, boys. We can wait till he sits down. No, we don't know what exactly we're dealing with as far as the firepower. God be with us all. Sugar to remove the whips from all those candy bars you have. <laughs> sure it is. Come on, it's okay.
Oh, baby, it's okay. It's okay. I'm right here. It's okay. Listen. I started this because I love you. I'm going to finish it for the same reason, okay? It's going to be okay. He's taking off the bomb. He's taking off the bomb. Dorsey, you take care of my children for me. Um. Every single one of them is precious in the brave new world. All right. Go on, go on. The woman has the bomb. The woman has the bomb. He's leaving. He's leaving the room. Is she hooked up to the switch? Is she hooked up to the switch? Over. Sounds like a war. I'm gonna get these bastards. Let's go! Come on! Let's go! Down the hall! Come on! 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 All right, anybody else? Jake, that's it over here. Do you need any help? No, just a couple more. Okay, Cody, come on. You hit the ground running, sir. Tracy! You see Tracy? Anybody else? Tracy. Anybody else?
gotta get out of here. Don't Come on! Me. All right. <coughs> you go that way. I'm okay. Tracy! Tracy! Tracy, where Tracy. are you? Tracy! Tracy! Did you get him? I don't know. Tracy! Ah! Cody, what is it? Did you find her? Freeze! You move and I'll blow your damn head off. Yeah, oh my God. Put the gun down. Put the damn gun down. Are you all right? Yeah, no thanks to you. I saw the gun and I... Well, I don't know what I thought. I heard gunshots. Well, it's the heat from that fire exploding the extra ammo. Hang on, Tracy. You're going to be okay. Cody! Hang on. Cody! Get us to the hospital. Skin. She's, she's still breathing. You're gonna be okay, honey. Mom! Tracy! I'm gonna get her to the ambulance. Okay! Hey. Alright. Alright. It's okay, man. It's alright. <laughs> My father, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The woman's gone, too. I'm so sorry. How many children? None so far. A teacher got shot, and there's some bad burns, but other than that, everybody else is pretty much accounted for. How could it be? I don't, I don't know. Excuse me. We uh, need you to make a formal identification. Well, Deb, can she do that tomorrow? Yes, yeah, sure. No. It's all right. Where? Town hall. We don't have a morgue. Kathy, pretty good day's work. Oh, always happy to lend a hand. Thank you. Thank you, Dad. Yeah. Could I have a few minutes? Sure. Bye, Daddy. Welcome back. No. I'm scared. Tracy, two weeks ago when you were in the hospital, there was this sort of doctor. She said it was okay for us to be scared as long as we went back into the room. No! As long as we went back into the room, saw there was nobody there, then we took it back. Then we wouldn't be afraid anymore. All the kids did it. Did you? I was waiting for you. That's another thing the doctor said. 
She said if we went back into the room and we wrote our names on the floor, it would be like a sign that we were here, but we're okay now. You want to do it? I think I will. Pretty quiet the last couple of weeks. Let you down, we adults. Should have taken care of this lunatic sooner. I thought about it, but I also know sometimes it's just better to wait. How come none of us were killed? Well, the bomb guys say only half of it went off. The windows were open, the doors let out the force of the blast. Sure. But maybe it's where God's dead. 